Hey everyone, thanks for joining our party this week. I'm Christy and welcome to my kitchen counter. Um, this is totally unplanned, but it is about quarter to six my time and I just wanted to let you know what I have going for dinner. At five o'clock, okay, it was actually 5.03, I took some chicken, frozen solid as a rock, still in the styrofoam tray, which First of all, never freeze your chicken that way because if you want to cook it from frozen, it took longer to get that foamy stuff off the bottom. So, I want to introduce you guys to our quick cooker. You will see more about this, but this is our Pampered Chef version of a pressure cooker, okay? So, I just want to let you know I put frozen chicken breast in here, probably about three pounds, sprinkled it with a little bit of chipotle um, rub, and then about a cup Actually, it was a little more than a cup. It was probably about 12 ounces of um, salsa. That's it, three ingredients, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel because <clears throat> it had already got done cooking and then it was on, it automatically goes up to warming, okay? And then I'm gonna push this button here and the steam releases from the back. If you've had a pressure cooker of another brand, likely your button where you release the steam is right there next to where the hottest part of the steam comes out. Not ours, right? There's a good couple of inches between that heat of the steam release and the button that you push, okay? So, I don't know if you guys can see from there, but there is a little button that just dropped that tells me it's not under pressure anymore and I'm safe to release it. I go ahead and just unrelease, I guess, my steam button so it's ready to go for the next time. I'm just gonna open this up now, when you do frozen chicken, sometimes it sticks together. So I may need to let it go for a little bit longer, but I'm gonna take this and kind of show you what's going on inside here. And I'm gonna to have to grab a little bit of my tongs. So let me turn this around. And you can see, I wish you guys could smell because it smells really good. Okay, so I had this in for 10 minutes and you can see it does need a little bit more, but it's actually, these chicken breasts were frozen together, okay? So the range that it gave me, it's four chicken breasts and they were all frozen together. The range and time that it gave me <clears throat> was 10 or eight to 12 minutes. And I put it on for about nine, realizing that I may have to get it going again. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. <clears throat> Takes a second because it's hot. I'll rotate that back around and go another about three minutes or so. But in the meantime, <clears throat> I want to show you one of my favorite products in my kitchen that we have two of them and there's always at least one in the dishwasher. It's our deluxe cheese grater. And now, I've been selling Pamper Chef for 25 years, so we've gone through a couple of cheese graters. This by far is the best ever. Big block of cheese here. Now, I have four boys and we do buy blocks of cheese this was part of a four pound block, okay? Now, if you see, I didn't just pull this out of the refrigerator. It had been sitting on my cabinet just for a couple minutes while I was setting up my, cab my camera. But um, look how quick that is, right? Now, I don't know if you buy the already bag grated bags of cheese. I won't judge if you do, but I'll tell you why you shouldn't. If you do, you're gonna have a little powdery residue called powdered cellulose. And that little residue keeps your cheese from clumping together at the bottom of the bag. Okay, let me put that back in my bag here. Now, <clears throat> that was a lot of cheese I grated in just a couple minutes. I didn't think it was a couple minutes. We could go back and watch the video, right? But look at that. I got a big mound of cheese here in just a few seconds, really. Now, if you buy an eight ounce bag of already grated cheese, you get exactly two cups. If you grate a block, an eight ounce block of cheese, you will get more than two cups. It will melt better, it will taste better, and it will just look better. It's brighter, it's shinier, it's not um, got that little dingy powdery stuff all over it, okay? So this is our cheese grater. We're having this chicken tacos tonight, so I wanted to show you, this is our topping. So, <clears throat> let me get this back on here. I will come back on, maybe not live, but I will definitely take pictures of this when it's done. I'm just gonna go around here to our chicken setting again. I'm gonna take the time, because I did it for that nine minutes, 
Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it for another four, because that'll give me 13, and it said, said eight to 12. So um, that will definitely um, be what we need. Now, once it does come under pressure, the, the um, little light um, that's, that's showing here will actually become numbers, and it'll start a countdown, okay? So again, that's our quick cooker. Five after five, so about 40 minutes ago, 45 minutes ago, I had frozen solid chicken that was stuck to the styrofoam tray. <laughs> Took me a good 10 or more minutes just to get that foamy stuff off of my hard frozen chicken. Um, after about nine minutes in the quick cooker, it was mostly done, if you saw the beginning of the video. And I'm just gonna put it in here for a few more minutes because those edges that were frozen together needs to get done, okay? And then this is our deluxe cheese grater, our coarse deluxe cheese grater. I will put it into our um, leak-proof glass container. I love these. They stack really nice in your fridge. And if you have things like cheese, like when you buy the block of cheese and grate your own, if you have any leftover, this is what I do. I just have it in my leak-proof glass container. I like to buy block cheese as well because here's the deal. If you buy bags of already grated cheese, chances are you also have sliced cheese and you also have cheese sticks in your fridge. Maybe you have cheese cubes. I'll take this big four pound block and it's a rectangle like this when I get it. I'll cut it into four pieces, so approximately one pound pieces. We usually have some grated. I'll use some to slice. We have a crinkle cutter that I'll use to make like cheese sticks myself. And my boys like that because they can have pepper jack cheese sticks or mozzarella cheese sticks or Colby jack cheese sticks. It's kind of fun. So I'm gonna let you guys go for now. I will jump back on at least with a picture of our finished dinner here. But I just thought I would jump on real quick and let you know what's going on in my kitchen. I am looking forward to partying with y'all this week. I hope you have a fantastic Monday night. Thanks.